Yeah, but I got the pipes to clean. I pray that you would bless them, and that you would give them wisdom in every decision that they have to make. God, as your word says in Deuteronomy, the blessing maketh thee rich and adds no sorrow. Father, I, I bless this couple with that same blessing. In Christ's name, amen. You may be seated. Well, I'll say this before I start. It was about 15 years ago, coming out, roping with Rick and Nathan, just a few hundred feet on top of the hill. Anybody knows it's been to a team rope, and I've seen several. You're always looking for a gate opener. Somebody to open the gates. And that's when I first met Brianne. She opened the gates, and when she got tired of running the gates, she'd be on a horse. And so I have the distinct honor and privilege to be here today. And I'm honored to be a part of your ceremony, and thank you for asking me. Well, we're gathered today, <clears throat> this day, to witness the union of Brendan and Brianne and holy matrimony. This is a day of great celebration and reverence on which we come together before God to recognize and commemorate the sacred love and dedication shared between these two people. It's wonderful to have the family and friends that arrived here today. And on behalf of the bride and groom, I would like to thank you for coming. For you have placed a, a, played a integral part in the entwining of their lives. I'd like to read the scripture in the book of Corinthians that says this, talking about love. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, does not boast, is not proud. It is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. And in that time that Brendan and Brienne have spent together, they've built the sturdy foundation for a lifelong relationship. And after a great deal of consideration, they've decided to bind themselves one to another for the rest of their lives. If there's anyone in attendance here who has cause to believe that this couple should not be joined in marriage, then they speak now for verbal difference. Marriages, and today we observe the union of these two people with respect that the occasion warrants. What we honor with reverence, however, we also celebrate with great joy. For a married life, a shared life, is a tremendous blessing. Now Brennan and Brianne embark on this journey together. They will be able to nurture a love that makes each of them better versions of themselves. Marriage is indeed the perfect garden from which to sow and to harvest. And to Brendan and Brianna, I say to you this. Learn to work together, to laugh together, to love together. Don't get caught up in the worldly things that would draw you apart. Instead, focus on your shared devotion and turn inward. As your relationship strengthens, you'll find that you come to share remarkable love, a love that is both abundantly given and freely accepted. The joy you'll find as you pursue your shared lives will fuel you that you'll encounter on this earth. On your journeys together, keep your spouse in the highest priority in your heart. The love you share must be guarded and must be cherished. It is the most valuable treasure. Brendan, if you would repeat after me. I, Brendan, take you, Brianne, to be my lawfully wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you, I will love you and honor you all the days of my life until death do us part. Brianne, if you'll repeat after me. The wind that blew my papers away. 
I, Brienne, mm -hmm. take you, Brendan, to be my lawfully wedded husband. Be my That's a mouthful. <laughs> to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, or worse, for richer or poorer, I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life until death do me part. Brendan, do you promise to honor Brienne in love, to be sensitive to her needs, to comfort her in difficulty, and to put your full and complete trust in her so long as you Brendan, do you promise to honor Brienne in love, to be sensitive to her needs, to comfort her in difficulty, and to put your full and complete trust in her so long as you both shall live? And Brienne, do you promise to honor Brendan in love and to be sensitive to his needs, to comfort him in difficulty, and to put your full and complete trust in him so long as you both shall live? You didn't have to think about that. <laughs> I, Brendan, give you this ring as a symbol of my love and commitment. With this ring, I thee will. Brienne, if you'll place that, Brendan's fourth finger, repeat after me. I, Brienne, give you this ring as a symbol of my love and commitment. With this ring, I thee will. By the power vested in me, I pronounce you husband and wife. Brendan, I even kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> well, the very first time, I would like to uh, introduce to you Mr. and Ms. Brendan Henry. First time, I would like to uh, introduce to you Mr. and Ms. Brendan Henry.